preparing my 67 Thunderbird for the uh, electric uh, headlight uh, conversion. So I've got the actuators out and I've got the uh, headlight doors are um, adjusted properly for the uh, grill to be the doors to be aligned pretty much perfect with the grill. There's the uh, actuators and the pins, which were very difficult. It took hours to remove those. So, what I've got here. So, there it's all empty and uh, ready. <clears throat> the doors now open really easily uh, by hand, actually. Not really that bad of a way to leave them like that, actually, wouldn't be bad. So I'm going to leave all the uh, hoses and everything in place. Here's the other one. So it opens uh, easy. Got a spring loaded for open, spring loaded for closed. And um, I'm going to leave the, um, all the system in, disconnect the uh, solenoid uh, down there and I take everything out and clean it up a little bit but clean up the engine compartment a little bit but uh, then I'll probably lose all the components so just dis disconnect the uh, appropriate hoses and uh, plug them and uh, maybe check for uh, leaks and maybe disconnect all the way back uh, close to the manifold I'm not sure yet but anyway so it's uh, ready for the uh, components that I ordered and I might make one change to it we'll we'll see a little another little science project uh, <clears throat> when they come in after I get them uh, installed but uh, so anyway they're the uh, probably the hardest part of the uh, conversion taking those actuators out especially with the pins with the the uh, bolts with the round heads and you have very difficult to grab onto unless you uh i didn't have my dremel with me to uh cut part of the uh, head off where i could put a wrench on it uh not a not a design that's um meant to be uh removed easily thanks to the uh, ford uh engineers and designers anyway so we'll see how it goes